Hey everyone, we're here again today, and before we go down into my wormery, we're checking out my tracking spreadsheet for my latest time lapse. And this is the time lapse, which um, a part of which has already been published, the part that's depicted here in the green. And it uh, it shows the the first 30 or 35 days a month in the layered worm bin. And even though at that point the flash on my camera died. I went ahead and I set a GoPro camera, which has been filming since that time, taking one frame every two minutes, adding up to 720 frames per day. And based on my estimates, with the prediction that the chip that's in there, a 64 gig gigabyte chip, would fill up at around 20,000 frames, I'm now in the neighborhood of um, 23, approach, approaching 24,000 frames on that chip. And the bin itself has now been out there composting for 80 days. So today I'm going to shut down the time lapse and begin assembling the time lapse. We're going to go down into the wormery and I'm going to show you what's happening down there. Uh, after the last feeding, which was quite some time ago now, um, almost two weeks ago, I started noticing a, a kind of a dark colored moldy uh, uh, material starting to grow on the top surface and I didn't want to have anything happening there that could um, harm the worms. So I decided that today I'm going to shut down the time lapse and we're going to uh, and we're going to have something new to see in a little while. Hopefully in a day or two I'll be able to publish a new video showing uh, the overall effects of what happened in this time lapse from day one to day last on 80 days in the worm bin. So you can see I, I even went to the extent of uh, blocking out the light coming in through the windows and unscrewing light bulbs down here and even putting up a uh, a shield. This stuff they've been sort of shying away from. I, I was just worried that this could actually have some negative effects and I think 80 days in the worm bin, especially one this size, is it's more than sufficient to allow the worms to make their way through what's in there. And Besides that, um, I think the fact that today is 80 days, it gives me kind of an interesting uh, opportunity to give my video an interesting name. Can you guess what my idea for the name was? <laughs> um, I'm going to keep that a surprise because I think it's a catchy name and I think it'll it'll be well received. So hopefully everyone likes the name that I chose in already. The GoPro camera that's been doing the video is uh, right there. And um, you're here to see me officially shut it off. And this is the last of uh, the last of the video. Okay. That's a pretty good indication that the camera's now off. So this is just a quick, a quick check-in. Uh, I'll probably return to shoot some video of um, you know what the insides of this bin look like after all this time, and um, and we'll, we'll just get a quick view. You know, I'll put a video together of that as well, sort of a dismantling video. But my next step is going to be to take that camera upstairs, download all the images, and start assembling the new time lapse for everybody. So. I just wanted to give everyone a quick glimpse as to how this uh, video winds down, and um, and pretty soon you should have a new time lapse from me. So stay tuned for that, and, uh, and we'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this quick check-in on how this latest time lapse of mine is progressing, then you know by all means give my video a thumbs up. That's always really appreciated, and also consider subscribing to my channel. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time. Bye.